Hey, Hot Garbage Squad. Today, I want to talk about something important. There has been a lot of Come To Us drama. I should say Summer's War drama recently, ranging from the Siege Tournament to botting to the copyright strikes. Thank God that was solved. But don't let all this drama hide the fact that biggest problem here is RTA is still garbage. Yes, the rewards got changed a little bit. You get some stickers now. You get this little scooter thing. But honestly, does it make you want to play RTA? 100% no. Unless you really like to enjoy and Unless you really like it for some reason. But for the majority of you guys watching, no. And the biggest reason is because Comptuous has not solved this issue yet. The biggest problem is players getting farmed down because guardian players just auto or bought an auto i don't know what it is but guardian players conquer players go farm bronze players and fighter players and it makes like a negative gaming experience it takes away the fun of this whole game and i'm not going to touch about violent procs and all that stuff that makes it really unfun but the biggest like the, the root issue is players getting farmed down there has been how many seasons now we have 13 seasons going on to our 14 and we still cannot solve the problem of bot i mean not botting i mean problem of players getting farmed how many of you guys are a fighter player and then you want to play rta to get maybe get some transmogs to maybe go try to get conquer one so you can drive by these hot wings right something in this shop right these cosmetics but you're gate kept or gatekeeped or whatever by a G3 player that picks Artemil, Ragdoll, Tian Lang, um, something and something, and then they're all only nat fives or some variation like that. It happens quite often. They just pick four or five bruiser monsters with sustain and they auto it out and win by pure room quality. A lot of you guys probably don't think it affects me because I play at a higher level. But in fact, whenever I do account services and I do like RTA, like we room for someone, I test it out. I can never, it takes me a lot more matches to test it out properly because one, I'm facing players that aren't in my rank of climbing up, which is fine because that's part of the game. But two, it's because half of my matches are people autoing me and I can't properly test anything. And when I've noticed this issue, I did bring up to come to us. I don't know if, I don't know. I mean, well, some come to us, North America, which brings it to North Korea's calm to us, but it's up to them to do anything, right? It's not the North American team. So I did bring it up and it's effect like I, by doing the account services and then noticing this issue, like it, it brings, like I can understand it better from your point of view, right? It's actually really, really rampant. The amount of autoing is disgusting. It makes it as if not really fun. I have some things in my mind that maybe it'll solve it, maybe it won't, right? But we can brainstorm and try to find a solution instead of sitting here for 14 seasons getting autoed. Like, first of all, the better rewards is an incentive for you to play. But that incentive is not greater than the opportunity cost of getting brain damage from getting autoed and throwing your phone and buying a new $1,000 phone, okay? It is not enough for some of you guys to want to play RTA. What will make you want to play RTA is to mitigate this issue of, of players either bot farming down there in RTA or just AFKing, drafting, taking a dump, coming back for win or lose, okay? And I had some thoughts about potentially a fix you know my solution may not be the best solution but at least i'm trying to bring attention to it and this is my solution okay based off your last two ranks of your rta rank your last previous two seasons your rta rank this should be like an average of some sort where let's say you ended g1 times two maybe you cannot end maybe you cannot play at an mmr level like an elo level of conquer two and below you will only be matched with conquer two and above players in the current season for example right something along those lines there has to be a like a floor in matchmaking so that fighter players who actually end fighter three are not facing guardian players 
at all, right? There's like, it shouldn't really be a thing. I, I get that maybe Conqueror players will face a Conqueror 3 player because that that's that range, right? Maybe a rank below you. But it makes no sense to me how a fighter player can match up to a G G1 player and expect to have a fun or even even sort of fun time, okay? It makes no sense. So my, 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 my idea is there has to be like a minimum floor. I understand that it might make matchmaking a lot longer, but matchmaking is already an issue in itself right now. You can win, as a Guardian 1 player, you can win 9 points off a G3 player. 2,000 ranked, like top 100, you get 900, 9 points off him. You lose to a C3 player, you lose 13 points, right? That feels so bad. You probably lost to a Von Proc too. You, you grinded... You so hard, tooth and nail for this one win against a top 100 player. Seven, eight, nine points. Wow, feels great. Next match, C3 player, you lose 13 points. Okay, so I, I kind of digressed talking about matchmaking, but my, my main point here is farmers and how we need a plan. And feel free to brainstorm in the chat of what can come to us do. It's anything, anything, because... We have seen in the past, Calm to us used a special league as a testing feature. They put the new point system into special league because special league is only like three, four weeks, right? No one really cares. Feel free to test your thing there. So why not test your, your auto farming prevention system that you clearly did not develop yet in special league? No harm, no foul, right? Anything can happen. It doesn't really mean anything. No one plays Special League anyways to begin with, especially not SWC mode. <laughs> but my, my biggest concern is after 14 seasons, there has been zero change to farming. And like I said, I'm only making this video for you guys out there who struggle, who actually want some form of competitiveness, right? I don't expect Com to us to introduce a... RTA mode, very similar to Predator, Predator, no runes needed, 10x stats, whatever, right? I don't expect that because they need to make money. But I do expect them to try to treat their lower level players and monsters and runes are already a gateway. Why make this problem that you can solve a gateway as well, right? Why limit the possibilities of trying to make this eSport? And I quote eSport is because Calm to us has been shoving this down your throat, right? This esport concept. Som to us made a Legends tournament. They made a Siege tournament that they they bafflingly destroyed. Okay, they they have a prize pool. They have broadcasting teams. They have talent teams for you them to cast. Right? It's all in the concept of having. The, well, the game itself is not really an esports, but the concept of it being an esports with the, all the factors I've listed should at least make them want to make the mass players interested in rta but no one's interested because i'm just gonna play my first game of the day and face an artemil ragdoll gianna yun hong team and think yeah i'm never touching this again like can you imagine your first experience with rta being that and then your next few games also being that terrible anyways that is the biggest thing I want to bring attention to. I'm not going to talk about buying procs. That's a whole nother issue in itself. Like 22%, 12%. I have seen enough of that bogus number. Anyways, let me know in the comments below. What is your solution and how to fix people farming in lower ranks?